What's up, Gear Mortals? Trey Xavier here. On today's edition of Gear Gods Quality Control, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Toneforge Jeff Loomis plugin from Joey Sturgis Tones. <laughs> As you can hear, this plugin is so mean. It's so mean sounding pretty much immediately out of the box. I have every guitar amp sim plugin. I have all of them. This one might be my favorite. I have some that have like lots and lots of different sounds that I love, ones that I use all the time for lots of different stuff. But so far, I keep coming back to this one. We've got three different amp sounds clean rhythm and lead, some effects, different cab sounds. Jeff Loomis has always been a huge influence on me and not just his playing, even though I actually haven't really sat down and learned a whole lot of his stuff. Uh, don't expect me to be playing those River Dragon sweeps anytime soon, but just his super aggressive picking style, the sounds that he gets, the expressiveness, and he has always had such unbelievably killer tone all the time every album, anything he's on, always sounds amazing. And of course, some of that is gonna be those hands, those friggin' hands. And I, I can't have those, all right? I can't buy Lumi's hands, all right? And there's nothing for it, but I can buy a little something. And now I can buy Jeff Loomis's guitar tone. And Toneforge Jeff Loomis has been absolutely kicking my ass for the last few weeks that I've had it. I've always really loved that the Toneforge plugins are just a complete guitar signal chain end to end so that you can start with a DI signal and wind up with this complete polished guitar tone. So we've got everything in here that you could possibly need. Three amps, clean, rhythm, lead. Each one has controls. They're slightly different for each amp. Then we've got some effects pedals in front. So these are ones that go before the input of the amp. And we have the cab section, bunch of different options there. We'll go into that a little bit more in a second. Then we've got some time-based effects pedals. Of course, these are going uh, like probably in the loop or after the cab or whatever. We've got this Skybox, which is a reverb that has a bunch of different reverb sounds in it, and an Echo Man, which is a delay. And we've got this big old EQ and a compressor. Lots of stuff in here, but still not a crazy amount, you know. So anyway, enough yakking. Let's get cracking with some sounds. So if we just pull the plug in up and we go straight to the default sound, here's what it sounds like. Pretty nice, it's real warm. We also have the option to go back and forth between 6L6s and EL34s. That was the 6L6s. Let's try it with some 34s. Sounds pretty awesome so far. Let's go to the lead section, which just because it's called lead doesn't mean we have to play leads on it. I'm gonna, don't think I won't. But for right now, let's see if it's what the comparison is for Chunky.
All right, so I'm gonna real quick dial up a tone that I really wanna use. So this is a pretty sick tone. I think we're going back to 6L6s real quick. I'm gonna turn on the overdrive pedal and then we're gonna go take a look at what I consider to be one of the most important parts of any signal chain, which is the cab. So what you've been hearing so far has been the JST matched cab. <laughs> which I think sounds pretty awesome. It's really warm. It's not like particularly crispy, but I, I really like the sound of it. What we're gonna do now is go through some of the other cabs that they've got here. We've also got the JST Classic 4x12, which also gives us four different mic options. <laughs> That's the condenser mic. Here's the 421. Okay, then we got a classic 57. And then a 57 off axis. Then we've got something that is very special to this plugin. So they got Bogren Digital to make some cab IRs specifically for this plugin. So you can't get these cabs anywhere else. They're just called model one, two, three, and four, but uh, they sound pretty awesome. So here's the first one. <laughs> Definitely a lot crispier. Um, these are probably more like mix ready kind of sounds, you know? A lot of high end, a lot of high end. Cool, that's three and then here's four. That one sounds really good to me. It doesn't have a lot of that high-end sizzle like the others. This kind of thing is really gonna be very personal preference and also maybe depending on the mix that you've got going on. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome to me. That's gonna cut through a mix, but it's not too sizzly, you know? So then we can save this as a preset, so we'll call it Jeffy Beans. Jeffy Beans. So then we come to this dynamic section. Why is this sick? So if you're uh, into engineering at all, which I dabble a little bit, you might know about this Andy Sneep trick with the C4 plugin, which is a multiband compressor. And what that does is that when you set it right around 100, you can get rid of some of the nasty <laughs> thing that happens when you palm mute on the guitar. You'll notice here that this is set right at 100 already. And then you can just crank up the intensity and this is gonna be how much it pulls down the 100 when it starts to get there. So, you know, normally you've got your rhythm guitars, and then you gotta put C4 on the bus or on each track or whatever. Here you've got it right built in just to do exactly the thing that you needed to do. That's pretty sick. So that's enough for the rhythm guitar. We all know what you wanna hear, all right? You wanna hear how it sounds for shredding. <laughs> So what you're hearing now is my personal lead preset that I made. I didn't really do very much of anything, to be honest. I've got the overdrive on thusly. I'm using the matched cab, which I think for lead guitar sounds pretty awesome. Got the reverb on it, I'm using the cloud reverb and then some delay, dotted eighth note delay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna pull down uh, some of the reverb and delay a bit just so that you can kind of hear the raw tone a, li a little bit more, not completely. I don't like the sound of a dry lead guitar at all. <laughs> So I'm not gonna walk you through every single little thing on here. It's, it just sounds great, everything sounds amazing. All right, let's go back to the default. Let's take a look at the clean channel. So when you're getting yourself a plug-in like this, you're probably not really going in for the clean channel, but it's gotta be good if they're gonna include one. You know, for the clean tones, I always gotta bust out a proper strat. All right, let's dial ourselves in a clean tone. Something called clarity. That's something we want, right? Let's see. Actually, that's a pretty cool control. I don't know exactly what that does, but it sounds good. Let's uh, let's get the compressor. You know, for clean tones, you definitely uh, need a little bit of that. need a little of this. So many different kinds of reverb on here. This one's called Cloud. I'm gonna turn up the mix so you can really hear the reverb. This one's called Corral. We get a Shimmer. And we've got the room reverb. Plate reverb. That's pretty nice. We got ye old fashioned spring. If you're planning on some spaghetti western tones. that spring reverb going. I didn't really have the, the right tone for that, but it's fine. Then we have one called Blood. Blood! 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 I don't know why that one's called blood, but I like it. Nice, really nice. Now we're gonna take a look at a brand new feature that none of the other Tone Forge plugins have, and that's called Live Mode. Basically, this is so that you can use your Tone Forge plugin in a live situation. You can switch between presets and patches in real time. So to that end, I have my USB MIDI foot switch here, and this is a really simple one. It's just called the Live Logic from Blackstar. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna assign each one of these a preset. So I'm gonna pull up a preset. We're gonna start with uh, the Jeffy Beans <laughs> preset. And then I just gotta go assign current preset and that puts it onto switch one. Then we're gonna grab a different one. Let's do tray rhythm one. And then same thing. And then 
Trey lead one. Okay, and then we assign that to foot switch three. At this moment, it doesn't know what those are. But lucky for you, and for me actually, you don't have to be smart with MIDI. You don't have to like understand it all that well really, because there's this MIDI learn feature, and then you just push the button and it figures out which button you pushed and it assigns it to that one. Then we do the same thing with this one and this one. And then we've got our three patches set up. One, two, three. And it's really just that simple. It took almost no time to do. And you can set up uh, up to nine groups and you could name them like after songs or you basically put your set list in here and then just uh, scroll through them as you go. So there you have it folks, Toneforge Jeff Loomis. It is so sick. I am so stoked on this plugin. I've been using it a lot. I'm going to be using it even more. It has all the things that I like in an amp sim plugin. And I don't really feel like I need much more than this for the most part, even though it's pretty simple. It's also extremely powerful. The live mode is really awesome. That's gonna make it so much more useful for anyone, especially if you do a lot of like Twitch streaming kind of live performances, anything where you're playing through your computer in real time. That's a, an incredibly handy feature to have. So really, really love this plugin, Toneforge Jeff Loomis. Check it out. There's a link in the description where you can get it for yourself. And as always, if you haven't already, mash that subscribe button, smack the bell to join the notification squad. <laughs> Drop me a like and leave a comment in the comment section below, letting me know what you thought of the Toneforge Jeff Loomis plugin. And I'll see you real soon.